Hello, my name is Dave Batten, and this is my video on mold coating thin films onto glass. Basically, the mold carrier is a quarter inch piece of mirror with scotch tape runners on either side. Place down on a fairly level surface. Apply a little surfactant there or a Rain-X. There's probably some other products that I'll use. I'll, you'll see me buff it in or rub it in. Actually, later on, you'll see me just prior to coating, buff it out. So this way, if you leave a little bit of residue on there, right now is not an issue. Then what I like to do is cover it with another sh small piece of uh, paper towel. And later on, I'll use that to buff everything out. This kind of makes it ready for uh, the next stage. And then I have my clean glass, which I also put on top. You see I have a couple suction cups to act as a nice handle. And that's ready to go off to uh, be coated. Okay. You see I have my protective gloves on there because I will be using the dichromate. Polishing the surface. You'll see me fold that in half and make sure I use a clean side now to clean off the glass. Photographer's bulb I use right here to uh, blow off any possibilities of dust. Between the combination of using that and having all this under the laminar flow does a pretty good job of getting rid of any dust particles. Okay, you're going to see me uh, reach over and grab the emulsion, which is in a hot water bath. It's probably about 60 degrees centigrade. And uh, wipe off the water on the bottom. The bottle, the applicator is basically nothing more than a condiment bottle, you know, for ketchup or mustard. And I have a little baby bottle liner inside, so I don't have to clean it every time. I can just throw the liner away. Tap on the top, inverted, chase the bubble up. Put down an application, contact it to the glass so you don't have to make any more bubbles. And I usually like to put a little heavier in the front and the back uh, of the puddle. And you see me hinge it down and I'm actually using one finger against the other finger. Push-pull situation to uh, slow my, my drop and give it a nice gradual drop so I don't create any more bubbles. And you actually you'll see later on here in a minute, second I'll I, um, have a bubble in there and um, I'm able to chase it out by my... Uh, sequence of application of the paper clips. There's that bubble and then it runs right out. And uh, once it's set up like this, it's off to the refrigerator for at least a half hour. Okay. Coming out of the fridge, all nice and cool down. There's a small puddle that forms around the edge of the, the glass plate that's made, and you'll see me touch it in the corner there. That's how I kind of test to make sure that it's ready to go. It's like a rubber band state, I call it. And you can just pull that right up, move that excess material around the edge. Sometimes if it starts to stick, you can use a credit card to uh, cut it first from the plate and then peel it off. Probably for a higher concentration of gelatin, you'd want to do that. You see me take a razor blade, and I take that razor blade and lay it very flat and just slide it along that shim, shim surface with the scotch tape so I don't cut into it, and just slide it between the glass and the shim. And you, if you look carefully, you can see it chase right across, and pop, off it comes. And based on the formula that I'm using, which is, I think, about a 15% gelatin, I end up with uh, about a 10 micron coating. So I hope you enjoyed the video.